Okay, boss, let me go. If I install dual function breakers in my kitchen, do I need to install GFCI AFCI outlets? And the answer is no. It's already GFCI and AFCI protected by the breaker. But let me show you in the code, bro. Not sure what state you're in, but if you're working on the 2020, let's take a look. We're going to flip over here, 210.8 GFCIs. And the initial charging statement says GFCI protection for personnel shall be provided as required in 210A through F. The GFCI shall be in a readily accessible location. I'm installing the dual function breaker, so this is definitely readily accessible. Jump over to A dwelling units, all 125 volt through 250 volt receptacles installed in locations specified in 210 A1 through A11 and supplied by single phase branch circuits rated 150 volts or less to ground shall be ground fault circuit interrupted for protection for personnel. Let's go down the list. Kitchens. The receptacles are installed to serve the countertop surfaces. So with this breaker here, you can install standard receptacles along the countertop just as long as they're tamper resistant, right? What about the AFCIs? Let's go to 210.12. AFCI protection. AFCI protection shall be provided as required in 210.12 A, B, C, and D. AFCI interrupter shall be installed in a readily accessible location. A dwelling units. All 125 volt single phase 15, 20 amp branch circuits supplying outlets or devices installed in dwelling unit kitchens shall be protected by any of the means described in 210.12 A1 through 6. One, a listed combination type AFCI circuit interrupter installed to provide protection of the entire branch circuit. And it's not talking about combination AFCI GFCI it's talking about combination that this breaker reads this circuit in parallel and series. Hugo I appreciate the question man keep it simple protect it at the breaker let's go